actually Sunday. This vlog is going to go up on Tuesday. So I just thought I'd start it here. Today I am doing like a little bit of a reset. I'm going to go and grab some food from the supermarket. Tomorrow I'm going to do my hair. Um, but I thought I'd just start the vlog because on Thursday I went to the HM showroom and I managed to vlog so much of it and I had such an amazing time. I was so grateful to be invited so i wanted to throw that footage in now um, and then i'll catch up with you guys once i'm back from the supermarket we can do a very quick supermarket haul aldi haul i'm so excited to be going to aldi i haven't had a chance to like really go to aldi for a little while so um we're gonna do that i'm just wearing a very casual outfit today an Ian bing jumper Primark t-shirt, it's like a two-pack one and then i've got these new trousers or joggers they're kind of flared though um, I got these from Fabletics when my Fabletics order came in. Um, so I'll probably do like a little unboxing because I think the Fabletics and also Savage Fenty came in as well. So I'll do an unboxing in this vlog, but the try-ons will be like short form, so you'll see that. Um, but yeah, that is it from me for now. I want to show you guys the H&M content before I forget. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so like this is our... So we do transform it quite a lot, but then in this section at the moment, we have like a mixture of studio occasions. So Suki Waterhouse actually wore that to uh, the Fashion Awards. Yes, I thought recently. so. I thought uh, so. She now she's pregnant. Yeah, it's so, beautiful. Um, that was like her first outing, I think, after announcing the news. Um, and then we have a bit of holiday stuff here because even though it is sort of dying down, you know, we um, are still in that mode because yeah. some people are having that like, last minute parties yeah. and events still post Christmas. So yeah, there's a bit of that. Mm -hmm. And then we have accessory bags, um, sunglasses, um, and then over here, as you can tell, it's mainly women's wear focused mm. um, as that's our biggest market, but we usually have a men's wear rail just over there. Okay. But because we had a lot of um, female strong collections happen. I am in the H&M showroom and it is honestly the most aesthetic showroom I think I've ever stepped into. I feel like when I, if I was able to have like a showroom or a studio or an office space, I think this is exactly how I'd want it to look. They have some really lovely pieces that are picked out and they've popped on the rails. And just generally the decor is so beautiful in here. So I'm gonna show you guys some bits and bobs that I've taken my eye. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. Actually, let me go in this mirror. So this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> no surprises, I am wearing a full H&M look. So I have this H&M jumper on, and then I also have my H&M skirt on. It is better once it's tucked in, but to be honest, I'm getting ready to try on a few pieces for you guys. So I will be getting changed quite a few times, but let me just quickly show you around the showroom a little bit more, because it's honestly, like I was saying, such a beautiful space. But as you walk in, they have some rails here. I love the curtains in here, they're so lovely. This is another little full length mirror. And all of the doors are like this. I love this vibe. Anyway, around the showroom they have accessories dotted everywhere. I really like the look of this scarf. Feels really soft. These glasses are definitely a bit of me as well with the gold, so there's that. I had the jacket that was similar to this. This is the jumper version and it's such a staple. I can see so many things that I really wanna try on, so I'm gonna to get to the try on section in this, don't you guys worry. I'm really, honestly, such a big fan of the double denim situation, like I can't tell you how much I love it. I think I might, because this is currently in my basket, so I might try this on with this. For you guys just to see if you guys watch my hauls then you guys have already seen this this is the cobalt set this is really beautiful quality they had another white one which was like floor length as well 10 out of 10. so they still have some of their party wear stuff out i really wanted to try a pair of metallic jeans like this i ended up getting another pair that were a little bit more jeans material but these ones look really nice got some more metallics more sequins this looks nice. Oh, this. Oh, oh, oh. This looks stunning. Okay, and so over on this side. Oh, these actually look really, really nice. I think if you're looking for a nice pair of trousers to wear in the office, these are great. This was actually in my basket for a while and I didn't end up like pressing order because I think it was a little bit more on the pricier side. So 
that's that these are nice i didn't see them on the website at all they're a little different this you guys know i already tried this on beautiful set count uh comes with a matching pair of trousers as well and this is cute i did see this on the website so this is this little section you've got the h&m signage there now of course because h&m has uh so much homeware they have some homeware bits dotted around which look i mean 10 out of 10 aesthetic look at this little section here it's so lovely there's me <laughs> they have dried foliage everywhere i mean these look stunning i think this table was actually for sale on their home section for a while but i'm not too sure i can't remember and then they have some accessories dotted around here which look lovely this bag looks great for the party season the festive season just like a really nice going out kind of vibe so that's that so they have some more homeware bits here they have some of their makeup pieces here which look really nice they have lip liners in here oh this looks nice body glow listen you cannot go wrong with a good body glow they have a mascara here oh a brow pencil i might try this so we're in the far corner of the studio now here are some of their like famous collabs that they've done and studio bits and bobs this looks absolutely stunning love the look of that this of course everybody and their mum loved this dress i actually didn't manage to get hold of it but it looks stunning in real life kind of wish i did get it now um but yeah they have some really beautiful archive pieces so this is the little lounge section i absolutely love these puffs they're so nice i don't is that what you call them puff puffet i'm not too sure someone i'm sure will correct me this i wish they had this in stock on the website i'm gonna stalk their home section a little more often now because these pieces look great and these cushions look amazing as well i have seen these on the website the you know the typical like coffee shop books or coffee table books i have seen these on the website i think they're like 50 or 60 quid i want to say so i've just come back over to the other side to show you some of the other pieces i really love this it's like an eyelet jeans jacket so i'm gonna try this on i think maybe for you guys if i can if there's one that i can try on i'll definitely try it on got the trench coats out oh i didn't see this in white i did try it on in the black nice shirt this is very nice very nice. oh this is good as well I like this. I'm, I'm trying to get a few more like good quality jumpers that are neutral that I can wear with quite a lot. So this would fit the bill. So here are some of the bits that I showed you guys earlier. Really beautiful pieces. And then in the middle, I think this is like a lot of the pieces that I'm gonna be trying on for you guys. So I'll give you a quick overview of them so you can see, but I am gonna populate my little rail and get some bits and bobs on and try them on for you guys. Lastly, this is the little changing room section. I've got my Coca-Cola, <laughs> my bags there, my coats there, my rail, and then look at this mirror, please. How stunning is this? This whole area is just like the whole vibe. <laughs> I really, really love the look of it, so. Yep. So you guys are going to have to excuse the angle and I really hope I'm not going to get copyrighted but this is the first outfit. I've gone for a triple denim so I've got this corset top on and then the matching midi skirt and then I also have this jeans jacket that goes with it which I think is cute. I mean I don't feel like I need all three. I think if I had to, I'd probably just do the top and the skirt, but here's what the outfit looks like. I'm gonna try on the next outfit. Hey, okay, wow, this I absolutely love. Can we see how this goes in at the waist? And then these jeans, they have, and guys, you guys know me, I'm not really like a jeans jeans girl like that, but these kind of balloon, it's kind of MC Hammer. <laughs> I really like it. I love it. How cute is this set? I feel like it's edgy, I feel like it's still feminine, and I think I'd get a lot of use out of the jeans waistcoat by itself. What do you think? I think this is my favorite. I've only tried on two, so let me calm the hell down. <laughs> Your girl has peaked. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me move over to this mirror. 
but I've decided to throw on this grey, hold on, let me, I think the grey is playing up on camera, but I decided just to drape this coat on over my shoulders with the double denim. This to me is a very Scandi vibe, a very Scandi look. It's not something that I would typically go for, but you know what? I really love the way that this looks. And for 2024, I'm definitely gonna be trying different fashion styles and not just sticking to what you may be used to seeing on the channel. So this, something like this, is definitely what I'm after. Let me show you out here further back because this coat is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's kind of like the one that I wore here today, to be honest, but just very, very, very thick. I absolutely love this. I think the gray is making the camera play up though. So this is a closer look. And I've just zoomed you out a little bit so you guys can see it. But this of my trainers, ooh, chef's kiss, 10 out of 10. Oh, your good sis cannot breathe in these trousers. They are a UK eight, I think. And post Christmas, your girl was just yamming and yamming and yamming, <laughs> doing all this rippling stuff here. But point is, I really wanted to try out these metallic trousers. As I was saying, I've got another pair, but they're a bit more of a jeans material. Um, let me see if I can show you the back. Let's try and figure out this hand-eye coordination situation. It's a little bit difficult. How do I do this? I don't know how I can do it. I don't know, I think this is the best we're gonna get with the camera and the angle. You can kind of see at the back. But anyway, they're, <laughs> they're squeezing my bum a little bit. Point is, this eyelet jacket, 10 out of 10. Everything it needs to be. This is a statement piece. This is a piece that you can have in your wardrobe for years to come. Very spring, very summer. Very, very vibey. I actually did borrow a bralette from them because I, you know me. <laughs> you guys know me, so yeah. As an ensemble, I think it actually looks sick. I really, really like this. I'm gonna show you guys in the bigger mirror now as well. Oh, cute. Here is how it's looking. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. H&M is just that girl, honestly. I think this bomber is gonna sell out on the website the second it drops. I'm sorry that I'm moving around weirdly. I'm just trying to catch the light for you guys. This is in a size small. It is honestly a bit of me. This is the type of jacket that I absolutely love. I wouldn't typically go for it in this color. I'd usually go for a green, maybe even a black. Mash up the people then, place. Anyway, <laughs> this is, 10 out of 10. Size small, I would say if you want it in like a bit more of an oversized fit, size up obviously. But if you look at the arms, they have like the drop seam, they are a little bit more enlarged. So I think they've obviously incorporated like a slightly oversized vibe anyway. So this for me, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And I've just been told I can take up to four pieces home and I feel so grateful because I love H&M, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, I feel really, really, really grateful. So I'm gonna have to pick which four pieces. It'll be interesting if you guys let me know what four pieces you think I should pick and then like we can cross reference. But yeah, this is the bomber jacket, 10 out of 10. Okay, so this is the final look that I'm trying on for you guys. This is actually just a blazer, but they didn't have uh, the matching skirt in my size. So I've sized up with the blazer wearing it as a dress I probably need to wear shorts on underneath and then because this is the showroom they have the label here but there's this like really beautiful broidery top if you guys have been following my channel for a while you guys will know that I have a dress version of this and it's so pretty it's a little bit on the more pricier side for H&M but it's it's really lovely I would undo the whole thing but obviously you know pump them out door. so <laughs> there's that I'm gonna show you once more in this large mirror actually just to give you an idea of the length I think this is a I think this is a 10 or a 12, so yeah. And the back, I mean, I think my cheeks are, my cheeks are not out, but they're dangerously close to being out. So there's that. <laughs> I've actually just taken 
taken a photo of a few bits because as I was saying, I can take four pieces, but the other pieces I'm just gonna go and buy. So I'm really hoping, actually no, duh, there's a H&M downstairs, so I'll probably just go and buy it like downstairs now. Um, so yeah, that's the try-on portion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna get changed into my original outfit, which, oh my God, I thought my coochie was out there. Let me, you know, you know what? <laughs> what an angle, guys. <laughs> Oh goodness, I'm just going to hang up these last few pieces. Now, um, I'm picking out the four pieces that I'm allowed to take. It's just that I think two of them are very high ticket, so... I don't know. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to uh, take all four of them. However, I think I'm going to go for this. If I can find it on the website, I'll link it for you guys. This is a size small and it's $119.99. The thing with this, right, how I know it's gonna last is that it's down slash feather. So that typically is a better quality and keeps you nice and warm. So that's that. This cannot get left behind under any circumstances. This is in a size small and it's $84.99. So this is, oh, so stunning on. It's $37.99, uh, it's a size eight. So I need this. Guys, I just saw the price of this coat. It's absolutely stunning. It's a medium, yeah? It's 230 pounds. But this, is, I don't think I can leave without this. And this is what I'm saying. This is a high ticket item, so I don't know if they're gonna be able to give this to me. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? How have I cut myself? Oh my gosh, am I that excited? I'm back. Your girl is just excited. I'm also at the age where I carry a packet of tissues, thankfully. I really don't know how I've cut myself. But anyway, point is, here we are. This coat is stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm already running a little bit behind schedule because I just got so carried away with trying everything on and getting content for you guys. I really hope I've done a good job of getting the content in here. So if you guys wanna see more like H&M showroom visits, please comment and let me know. I think I'm gonna throw this into a vlog. So I'm pretty sure I'll see you guys very, very soon. Beauty. mascara a brow product a do it all stick in this really beautiful peach color a lip liner and a gloss <gasps> stop bag. this is the cutest bag ever so as i am heading out to the supermarket i thought i'd show you the bomber on i have actually been wearing this i've worn it twice it's actually Sunday, like I said, I went to the showroom on Thursday and I've worn this twice. I just love this bomber so much. I don't know if it's in the shops just yet, um, but if I can, I'll link it or I'll, I'll try and find it because I do have the product code in the back, I think, still. Um, oh, maybe I don't. I'll see if I can find it for you guys, though. So here is the quick Aldi shop. We have some yogurt coated cranberries, my fruit. I just went for blueberries, mango, strawberries, and bananas. You guys know, obviously, I'm a crisp monster. Excuse the boil, I've got the heating on. It's absolutely freezing. Anyway, sweet barbecue, pop works, lefties. Then I thought I'd try the Aldi specially selected. So they've got a sea salt and chardonnay vinegar, a prawn cocktail flavor, and then a mature 
cheddar and red onion. Because it's January, they've got lots of like vegan and plant-based options, like no meat options. So I picked out two tofus. This is a onion marinated one, and then this is an organic smoked one. I've got some Colombian coffee pods. I have chicken chipolatas. You guys know I'm not, I don't really buy, I do still eat meat, I don't really buy it. However, I need to get more protein in. So I've been having chicken sausages as a way of doing that, and it's been okay, to be fair. Um, veg I only have, is this the only veg I bought? Shame, okay. There's that then, <laughs> I've only bought baby corn. I've got some butter, I need to make a banana loaf, so I needed to get some more butter. Uh, mini potatoes, I have eggs, I have my split pots, I have dark rice, sourdough, and then I have black beans and two tins of chickpeas, and that's it. Tuesday the day that I'm gonna edit and put this vlog live I left you guys on Sunday I just done my grocery shop by the way going to the supermarket on a Sunday absolute hell usually for me I go straight after the gym so it's like eight in the morning on a weekday when um, it's just way less busy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick to that going forward. But Monday morning, yesterday I went and had a hair appointment. So I just, I didn't wanna like go after my hair appointment to get the like food shop. So I thought Sunday would be better. So yesterday I went to get my hair done. I'm gonna link the hairstylist in the description box in case you're wondering um, like more about her and her services and stuff like that. But I've got four, they're, they're feeding braids, but I've got a little, I don't know if you guys can see. I've got it in a little bun, but they're like single plaits, they come down. But I basically went to the gym this morning and put it in a bun and then just didn't take it out since. Um, so yeah, that was what I did yesterday. I didn't actually get too, too much footage, but the footage that I do have, I will overlay it. Um, and so yeah, that's the hair. I'm actually really really happy with it it's so funny because one of the things i said to myself like once i'm self-employed and stuff like that is like i really want to start to wear more um natural hairstyles obviously this is not <laughs> natural this is french curl braid hair and then the little bits that you guys can see i just took one bundle um of like human hair and got her to like cut that and insert those bits in because they just look a little bit nicer than like the synthetic hair if i'm honest i don't mind the french curl but I just, for these bits, it just is nice to have like human hair bundles. But anyway, point is, I felt like when I worked in an office, it was a little bit difficult with regards to like hair. And I know obviously nobody would say anything, but it's just, I just feel more like, I don't know. You know, sometimes when you're just not in the mood to answer questions about hair and like how it's done and like, and I'm not saying that people would necessarily ask that. Um, I don't know, but yeah, I just always felt like, now that I'm, now I don't, I'm not necessarily like office based. I can like wear more natural looking hairstyles. That being said, I do love a good protective hairstyle. So I'll be experimenting a little bit more, not too, too much, because obviously as you guys know, like my natural hair and looking after my natural hair is like the number one. So yeah, I, it's, I'm still limited as to like what styles because anything that requires like a lot of tension on my hair or like a lot of glue and like, you know, playing around with edges and stuff, I, no, 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 I'm not gonna sacrifice my, <laughs> my edges whatsoever. So yeah, anyway, this morning I woke up, went and had a little breakfast meeting, it was so lovely, went to Dishoom, I didn't get any footage, but by this point you've probably seen me go to Dishoom and uh, get a breakfast there quite a few times. Then I popped to Central because I wanted to see if I could get the jeans to this, but unfortunately I could not find it in the store despite it saying online that they had some in store. So yeah, that's sad, unfortunately. But I am gonna go ahead and get myself organized. I'm gonna get changed out of my clothes. I'll show you my outfit. So I'm wearing my brown Adenola jumper, which I love. It's about <laughs> one degree. <laughs> this is very, very cold. I'm wearing a heat tech top underneath from Uniqlo and I've really found these like to be 
perfect i needed them and then i'm wearing these cargos from asos i am actually wearing the socks that i usually wear in the house out today and i wore my black tims and my puffer coat because honestly it's so cold i now have my scalp exposed so i had a scarf over my head and a hood <laughs> i was really not taking any chances um so yeah this is the outfit of the day my earrings are the monica vinod it's, i saw a reel on this it's not vinada 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 that's how you pronounce it monica vinada earrings and they did a collab with Kate Young and I absolutely love these. I've been wearing them quite a lot, but um, because I'm home, I'm going to take them off. I'm actually gonna get changed into some PJs quickly um, because I don't know, once I get in, I like to like completely get my outdoor clothes off immediately. And I'm gonna do some unboxings and show you guys some new pieces. I am gonna close out the vlog on like, maybe like a mini try on because I am, I figure it's easier to speak to you guys this way. But I'm gonna maybe close out on a mini try on haul. I've got three outfits from Karen Millen and I'm gonna be shooting tomorrow. So I wanna just try them on and see what they're saying basically um they're really lovely outfits so i'll finish up with a nice try on haul for you guys um i don't know what's up with me i am feeling so so tired all of a sudden i think it's because it's like my first full week back in the gym and i've like done 15k steps today and gone to the gym and i did about the same yesterday so i'm like my body's adjusting to this and i'm like I'm so so tired so yeah I'm gonna just get changed into the pajamas and yeah sit down do a little unboxing of my little bits and bobs and then I actually have to jump on the computer and edit you guys so that I can put you up today <laughs> we're gonna kick off with the Savage X Fenty stuff I really love Savage X Fenty and they have really great lounge pieces as well as really great sportswear. Um, I'm going to just share my selects for this month. I think I've got four outfits. I'm going to do a short form try on haul so you, got, you guys will see that um, either on shorts or on TikTok. Um, but I'll show and unbox the pieces with you now. This is just a pyjama set. I don't actually know. Grabbed this in a small yeah small is a uk is it a small yeah I, I think i grabbed it in a small so small or medium i think it's a small but it's basically these red trousers they have this in a blue and white stripe as well but something like this is perfect i absolutely love pajamas and loungewear i'm a simple babe um and then also the matching top which is just like a stringy kind of strappy top so that's the pajama set i then picked out like their sport range i really really love their sport range this is a really beautiful color um it's a bra in a size small it's kind of like a scuba material this i will probably put down until summer and save it for summer i ordered this in a small as well and these are the matching leggings that come with it so yeah really really nice nice thick waistband and again that same lovely sort of like orange coral color then i have another sport this is really cute this one i can wear now this is more like autumnal and winter um to be honest though it does look like a nice like piece to run errands in so let me come up close i've just realized the sun's a bit crazy so yeah these kind of like purpley leggings and then look at the top the top is lovely has like a little zip detailing on it, which I like. So I don't know, will I wear this? No, I will wear this to the gym. I will wear it to the gym. It's just that sometimes I like to keep them as running errands outfits. So that's the third piece. Then I have two really nice pieces actually. So this is a bodysuit, has a crisscross mesh detailing on it, which I really, really like. Um, this would look really nice with the black joggers from Fabletics that I was wearing yesterday. Um, yeah, but they're already dirty because I got the package last week and I've worn them like a lot since. They were just in the washing basket, but this is a really lovely body. It's also a thong cut, which I love. <laughs> this will not be worn to the gym. This will be worn in everyday athleisure. And then I have a bodysuit with a similar kind of like multi-strap crisscross detail with a cut out back. 
so yeah hopefully the try on clips hopefully i've oh no because this is going up now okay at some point you guys will see the try on clips of these because i was gonna say i'll throw them up on the screen but i'm literally putting this video up right now after this which means i kind of need to get a wiggle on i think at this point you guys have seen the fabletic stuff quite a lot so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna skip straight onto the karen millen because like i said i've really got to get a wiggle on to get this video up okay so here is the first karen millen outfit it's this beautiful jeans jacket and then it has a matching jeans skirt which is like a like maxi length skirt really really like it nice little pockets it's a nice stretch denim and of course really easy to style as it's just a two-piece so you don't have to do too much or think too much about it i really really like this you guys are going to see this in a lot more detail over on instagram because like i said i've got a shoot day tomorrow so i'm going to shoot this outfit i'll show you in the mirror weird time of day so the sun's like beaming in um but yeah here's what it looks like up close i really love this i'm wearing both of these in a size small and as i said it does have a nice amount of stretch to it so here is the first outfit i'm gonna link it for you guys in terms of styling i'm gonna style this with my zara snakeskin boots um just because i think that would look really really nice but this is a really great little crop jacket as well so this is the first outfit so this is the second look and it's this metallic bomber i'm wearing it in a small i'm also wearing the matching <laughs> skirt in the small i'm laughing because i've basically been a little bit lazy and just gone for a, like three matching sets that are just very easy to style i think the color lends a little bit more to autumn winter but obviously it's like a mini skirt and stuff so i don't know i don't know if i'm actually gonna shoot this tomorrow just because I just, it's so cold. I don't know if I'm gonna feel up to doing anything like this. And I don't actually know what I'd style over the top. I think because it's like a metallic, it kind of is a standalone outfit. You don't really wanna add anything to it. I don't really wanna add tights. Like, do you know what I mean? This is just like an outfit that just does what it needs to do by itself. So this is what it looks like. I do really like it though. I just think I prefer for the current weather that we're having, I prefer the one that we just tried on. So this is what this one looks like on. So this is a very casual look, but I think this is probably my favorite one. I sized up in these trousers or joggers rather, and I got them in a medium. Sorry, I just sneezed. Um, so I sized up in these and I got them in a medium, which do you know what? I didn't have to, but I'm still kind of glad that I did. The drawstring is functional. It's a little loose on the waist, but it's fine. More than anything, I love the flare and I really wanted to make sure they were long enough. And I love this seam in the middle i just think it's lovely it's almost like a scuba material this is and then there's a matching gray hoodie which is slightly cropped uh, i'm just wearing the trousers super super high and it's got a hood on it and i just think for running errands this is a really great piece i've just popped you there so you guys can see the hoodie in a little bit more detail i really love this i feel like this is something that i'll have for ages i think it's just perfect absolutely perfect it's like a fake pockets on the back but there are real pockets here on the joggers which i think is chef's kiss but anyway as i've mentioned i really want to get this vlog up right now so i'm going to jump off and edit before i do let me actually take the hair out of the bun so you guys can see it because by the time i vlog next because apparently the hairdresser basically said to me this will only last like a week which I was a bit like, oh, that's sad. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll see. I'm definitely gonna try and stretch it to way longer than that. But point is, I just wanted you guys to see it down in case you wanted to um, get the style. I also used two packets of hair. Um, there were three like bundles in each and I used one and a half basically. So um, I took the other packet back today and got a credit note. So I'm just gonna probably go and get there was something I thought I needed from the hair shop. I feel like you always feel like there's something you need from the hair shop, but you don't necessarily need anything at all. So this is the French curl ha hair. And here's what it looks like. Obviously you guys know it's like synthetic hair, right? That's why I just really wanted to make sure that the bits that are like hanging down were like human hair, as human as possible, right? Cause they always say human, but you can never be too sure, right? Um, so here's what it looks like down it's cute down i just have like two here two here obviously you can do them all like all on one side or you can just wear it up in a bun like what i did or you can 
tie it and wear it in a ponytail if you want. However you want, but I just have four braids in. And yeah, that is it. And a little close up in case you guys wanna see the style a little bit more and the back as well. Can you see the sun setting in the wardrobe? So random. Let me shut this actually. So yeah, that is about it from me. It is now four o'clock. And we're gonna have this up in two hours. I've already started editing, so it should be okay. It just takes forever to upload onto YouTube these days and I've got no idea why. So anyway, at the risk of rambling, I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching. Welcome to 2024. I hope that everybody has an amazing year. I hope that this is everybody's best year so far. I am feeling <laughs> very, very optimistic. I don't know why I laughed, but I'm feeling very optimistic about this year. I really, really am, so. Yeah, this is the first vlog of 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on all of my socials. I definitely have a very sort of different social media plan to what I've had in the past. So there will definitely be different content in different places. So make sure you're following me on all my socials. They're gonna be linked in the description box. Everything that I tried on, I'll link in the description box for you guys as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.